Childhood is a time of discovery. Every moment can bring a new experience. Every day can be an exploration into the unknown, full of promise and of danger. It is a time to start learning about life and how to live it. But for children today, learning about life is harder than ever before. The world is changing so rapidly, all too easily they may feel baffled or confused. All too often they may lose their sense of direction. There is a compass children can learn to use, and with it they can find their way through life. That compass is called Vipassana meditation. Vipassana means seeing things as they really are, in their true nature. It is an ancient meditation technique, discovered 25 centuries ago in India by a man known as the Buddha. In modern times, Vipassana has been taught by the late Sayaji Uba Kin of Burma and his pupil S.N. Goenka of India. Under Mr. Goenka's guidance, over 40 centers around the world now offer 10-day Vipassana courses for adults. Short courses designed especially for children are given in many of these centers in Western and Asian countries. Children come to learn meditation with many of the same aims and hopes as adults. Some hope to become nicer to be around. Others wish to be able to deal with stressful situations or to become more self-confident. Children arrive at the center on the afternoon of the day the course starts. They settle into their rooms, have their evening meal, and then attend an orientation meeting. In a center of meditation, there are des règles de vie à observer for two reasons: to help us to meditate. In this meeting, they are told about the layout of the center, the schedule, and the basic rules they will have to follow during the next three days. Une autre règle de vie, alors très importante aussi, pour ne pas troubler l'atmosphère du centre. Soon after the meeting, the children enter the meditation hall where they meet the teachers and receive beginning instructions. First, they promise to follow a code of moral conduct during their time at the center. That is, to avoid any words or actions that could harm others and make their own minds agitated. This is a key part of the technique. It helps the children become calm and quiet enough to be able to look within. Next, they start meditating by learning the technique of anapana, awareness of breathing. The children are asked to close their eyes and try to remain aware of the natural breath entering and leaving the nostrils. This is a simple way to focus and calm the mind. But simple as it is, it can be surprisingly hard. The mind keeps slipping away to memories, fantasies, fears, hopes, or sometimes to sleep. The task is to keep bringing the mind back to the chosen object until gradually it starts to stay, to become concentrated. Naturally, that does not happen all at once. It takes time and repeated effort. Next morning, they wake up to a full and busy schedule of activities. They meditate for periods of half an hour at a time. Afterwards, they divide into groups and discuss their experiences with a counselor on hand to answer questions, clear up confusions and give guidance. Respiration profonde et superficielle. 
Who thought about what they were going to have for breakfast? <laughs> Who thought it would be very nice still to be back in bed? <laughs> so the mind has all these tricks. It's like a naughty little monkey. And it's our job when we're meditating to calm this monkey down. Always keep your eyes closed. If you open your eyes, the mind will immediately get distracted. Be aware of every breath that's going in and every breath that's coming out. The mind will keep on wandering away. When it wanders away, just bring it back to the breath. Try not to miss even one breath. It could be fast or slow, deep or shallow, hard or soft, whatever it is, just observe. That's the job you have to do. There is a sense of wholeness, mastery and peace that comes from keeping the mind on the breath. The children begin to experience that. timetable includes breaks and rest periods. On the schedule are also games, physical exercise, creative activities and storytelling. And he said, he's very friendly and he's very lonely. And the rat said, we know lots of people he can talk to. So they said, come on, follow us. Courses in India also include cartoons on themes related to the meditation. As the time goes by, the children fall into the rhythm of the course. They enjoy the activities, get to know each other, and start to appreciate the meditation sessions. They also begin to understand the purpose of what they are doing. The mind, they are told, is a jumble of positive and negative qualities, and they can see it for themselves in the play of thoughts that tug at them as they meditate. When they successfully keep attention on the breath, on the reality of the present moment, negative thoughts fade away and positivity remains. The awareness of breath becomes their best friend, always on hand to help them in difficulties. The technique is not being taught only in Vipassana centers. In this school, the children practice 10 minutes of Anapana meditation before their first class every day. I can concentrate better now. The phone used to ring when I'm studying. I used to go and pick it up. But now I've learned how to concentrate and I say, no, my mother got to do this. I have to study. Concentrating on your breath takes not much of effort because we are concentrating on something we already have and something which is very easy to concentrate on. Of course, at first you do feel restless, but later on it becomes quite effortless. It happened once that I fought with one of my best friends and, and I was going to shout at her, but I said, no, I can't do this. So I just concentrated on my breath for about a minute or so and then it just came back to normal. I didn't shout. For me to sit down and take time out of studying and maybe that 10 minutes extra that I get to relax and to meditate is an effort. And also it's not very easy to concentrate because my mind keeps running away. So I said, okay, let me try it out. If it's supposed to help, let me just try it out. And I sat down and I did it for some time. And while I did it, I couldn't think of anything. My mind was blank. For those 10 minutes, I was calm, I was relaxed. So it helped me to feel good about myself. So much that is offered to young people today is based on materialism and the instant gratification of desires. Through meditation, children learn a different approach, a method of looking inside, of getting in touch with their real needs, of facing and resolving their fears and anxieties. 
Now they have the compass of meditation in their hands. By observing breath and continuing with the next steps of Vipassana, they find a path that leads to their own happiness and the happiness of others.